Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and once again welcome to uh, 50 Years of Horror Movies. Uh, today we're gonna, I'm going to be talking about the year 1976 in horror movies. Uh, so out of the five movies I have picked there's actually only one movie that I myself have not seen. I want to remedy that because I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. So, and I'm kind of surprised that I haven't watched it already. So I might have to look on streaming services and see if I can find it. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and get underway. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Burnt Offerings. And this is directed by Dan Curtis. If you remember, his name's popped up a couple of times on this uh uh, series already with uh, the Night Stalker uh, trilogy of terror those two movies uh, it is from a screenplay by Dan Curtis and William F. Nolan and it is based on the novel by Robert Marasco now this one is one that I believe is kind of uh, kind of falls into the folk horror category uh, kind of along the lines of Harvest, like Harvest Home by Thomas Tryon anyway what this is about it stars Karen Black uh, Oliver Reed and Burgess Meredith and again you recognize Karen Black's name because she was in Trilogy of Terror which was directed by Dan Curtis so I imagine she's kind of a go-to for him as far as uh, the actresses he picks to play in, in, the, in, her, in his films all right so anyway what it says here in the IMDB uh, dot com synopsis it says a family moves into a large old mansion in the countryside which seems to have a mysterious and sinister power over its residents. Sounds pretty creepy if you ask me. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to look that one up. I'm going to I'm going to try to find that one on streaming. So that is burnt offerings, all right? Now let's get into the movies that I actually have seen, the movies that I've actually enjoyed. Uh well, I'm not saying I didn't enjoy Burnt Offerings. I haven't seen Burnt Offerings. But these movies I'm going to talk about, I did see and I did enjoy very much. All right, so the first one, uh, or the second we're going to talk about, is Carrie. And this is, of course, directed by Brian De Palma. The screenplay is by Lawrence D. Cohen. And it is based, of course, on the very first novel of Stephen King. And I've got cats outside my window fighting over something. I just heard one of them yowling and hissing, so there's a fight going on outside. Anyway, Carrie stars Sissy Spacek, Piper Laurie, John Travolta, and Nancy Allen. Alright, so what is Carrie about? Well, if you haven't read Carrie or you haven't watched Carrie, Carrie is about a girl um, who is raised by an ultra-religious mother uh, so she is kind. Of, she is not a social butterfly. She is a, definitely a wallflower, and she is bullied at school. She's bullied by this girl Chris and her her cronies, if you want to call them that. And the only thing about it is, is that Carrie has telekinetic powers. She can make things move with her mind. All right. So you put all this bullying up. Uh, put together all this bullying, you put together this ultra-religious mom, and you put this, uh, this social, uh, awkward social wallflower of a girl, and this girl gets very tired of this, and it culminates in a prank, and, um, she makes everybody, uh, you know, I'm not going to go any further. Does she make everybody pay? If you haven't watched this movie, you ought to know what it's about. You've had till, this is 1976. You've had till now to watch Carrie. So if you don't know what Carrie is about, I'm sorry. But it's about a girl that gets pig blood poured on her and she got telekinetic powers. And she makes these people pay dearly in gruesome ways. All right? So that's Carrie. Okay. All right. So, next up, moving on, we have a what is called a nature horror film. We have Grizzly. And I remember when I went to see Grizzly and the poster for Grizzly said, 18 feet of gut-crunching, man-eating terror. And I thought, can, can you crunch guts? I mean, you can crunch bone, but do guts really, guts really make a crunching sound? If anybody has eaten guts before, then you're like, you know, let me know. Does it crunch? Do, do, do they crunch? Anyway, all right. 
Uh, it is directed by William Girdler. The screenplay is by Harvey Flaxman and David Sheldon. And it says here in the credits, it says the uh, Indian story is by Andrew Prine. Now, it's been a while since I have seen Grizzly, but I imagine that there is some kind of story uh, in the movie that Andrew Prine tells uh, that has something to do with uh, Native Americans. And you have to remember that uh, this movie is basically Jaws on land, all right? So the Indian story, as it says here, is probably the the match for the Indianapolis story that Quint tells in Jaws, all right? Uh, the movie stars Christopher George, Richard Jekyll, and Andrew Prine, all right? And what is it about? It is about an 18-foot-tall killer grizzly that is terrorizing this state park. It is attacking people. It is eating people. It is doing horrible things. And the three male leads have got to figure out a way to beat this bear. And like I said, just think Jaws on land and you've got grizzly. But I actually kind of love this movie. It's just one of those completely ridiculous movies that you have a lot of fun with. Alright, so there you go. That's grizzly. Okay. Alright. Next one is another one by Brian De Palma, and this is Obsession. Now, it has been a long time since I have watched Obsession, so I don't remember a whole lot about it, all right? But anyway, it is uh, directed by Brian, Brian De Palma, uh, and it is written by Brian De Palma and Paul Schrader. And if you recognize Paul Schrader's name from Taxi Driver, he is also the... Uh, screenwriter for the movie Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro and direct, directed, of course, by Martin Scorsese. Uh, stars, uh, Obsession stars Cliff Robertson, Javier Bujold, and John Lithgow. And what it's about is about a wealthy New Orleans businessman. He becomes obsessed with a young woman played by Bujold uh, who resembles his long-dead wife. All right, that is the plot of Obsession. All right, so there you go. That's Obsession. And finally, from 1976, we have got The Omen. And this is directed by Richard Donner. It's written by David Seltzer. Uh, stars Gregory Peck, Lee Remick, David Warner, and Harvey Stevens. And The, um, uh, the Omen... Is what that is what is about, of course, is an ambassador, U.S. ambassador, and his wife give birth to this child, and um, the child basically is the Antichrist, is what he is. That is what this child is, and so um, Gregory Peck and his wife, especially Gregory Peck, uh, kind of have this crisis on their hands like, okay, do we? Uh, destroy this child or do we let this child grow up and become what he is going to become and you can imagine how that all goes all right lots of deaths you know it's all for you Damien yeah you know that sort of thing uh, the dogs the baboons in the zoo the right through David Warner's head all that kind of stuff uh, so I was reading the uh, trivia uh, for the for the omen and the way that um, Richard Donner uh, picked who was going to play uh, Damien in the movie is that he had all these kids and he told the kids, he said, just come at me. You know, and they all came at him, but Harvey Stevens, when he came at him, he came at him like a wild man. He was clawing Richard Donner's face, he clawed at his eyes, kicked Richard Donner in the nuts, and Richard Donner had to push him away and said, hey, dye this kid's hair black and put him in the movie. We is cast. That was how he cast Harvey Stevens in, um, excuse me, how he cast Harvey Stevens in The Omen. All right, so there you go. All right, and of course there's also The Omen Curse, but I'm not going to get into that whole thing right there. Anyway, that is five horror films from the year 1976. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and take care, and stay scared. Bye-bye.